want to sh I want to show you something at the park. Here's the first shelter on the right. I'm underneath the shelter now in this fireplace and uh, it's rare to find a nearly whole trilobite. It's a rare find. So we're going to show everybody where to find it if they ever come up to this park. Connor, can you find it? That's it. That's right. Okay, so Connor is pointing to where you can find the nearly whole trilobite and it's maybe, oh, what would that be? Three feet off the ground, right underneath the big stone. Let's get a close up. Move your finger, Connor. Right there. Here's my finger for scale. So that's maybe an inch and a half. It's I don't just starting to see the outline of its head, but uh, so this is inverted. It's the underside of its shell, and that's just a really cool find. And any kids that come up here. Now that they know this is here, they can find it on their own. Cincinnati, Ohio is world famous for its fossils. Now, where these stones came from, I don't know. I don't know where they were quarried. This could be Ordovician if it was local rocks, which would be about 440 million years old. Cincinnati was under the sea, under the equator, and home to some of the earliest life forms on Earth. Not the earliest, but some of the earliest, meaning it's right after the Cambrian, during the Ordovician. However, these rocks look Silurian to me. They are somewhat crystalline, and that is the way they looked uh, on some of our uh, field. This is another illustration in terms of the dry dredgers. I belong to the dry dredgers, the oldest fossil club in the United States, which we meet monthly for field trips and classes. If anybody wants to come, they can uh, join the dry dredgers. It doesn't cost any money to uh, just check us out. Uh, people do want to join up, it's, it's only about $10 a year, very inexpensive. I have many videos on YouTube about Cincinnati fossils, introducing them to all the different uh, types of fossils and animals that swim around under this shallow tropical sea. Uh, crinoids, trilobites, seashells, snail shells, coral, um, they're all here on YouTube. Just search under the YouTube search engine for Cincinnati fossils or dry dredgers. They'll all those videos will come up and the collection grows yearly. This is another illustration of life during the Ordovician and here we see a trilobite and some coral behind it. Isotelus maximus is the Ohio State fossil. Ohio has a state bird, which is the cardinal, the state tree, which is the buckeye tree, and now we have a state fossil, which is this animal here. I, this is a Paleozoic diorama, very similar to what it looked like during the Ordovician, and what it would have looked like, the undersea community, that the trilobites would have been swimming around in. So all types of seashells, coral, crinoids, nautiloid cephalopods and snails, gastropods, brachiopods, all these creatures would have been their uh, contemporaries.